Castle Black. So this is the site of the Night's Watch. This is going to be cool. Imagine this guy's going to stop us. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Okay, a nice reception here. Everyone's pretty, uh... With friendly. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? A little bit. You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. <laughs> Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. We'll have to toughen up a bit. No. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Wow, okay. Huh. It's warm. Frostfinger, okay. Now I get it. As a squire, I serve Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? It's a you long thief, story. A raper. You abandon your post, or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? Ignore me, and you'll come to regret it. You arrive on horseback. Wearing a soldier's livery. I know exactly who you are, Garrett Tottle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan oh of House Forester. Our reputation my precedes uncle us here. To the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle. I know all about you. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Great. I'm totally motivated. That's fantastic. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. 
<laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. I might want to lip him off a little bit as we pass, well, but we'll see. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. <laughs> Fill me up, would you? Well, Dave and bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Jeez. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, cool. did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go all, like, your major now. assholes. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Jeez. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? Yeah, good one. My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hold. Yeah, man up. Go on then, my lord. So if Asher comes back here, like, we're going to be in a bit of a predicament. Um... <laughs> Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like The guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. The scars are so deep. Come, join us. Like, how long would that take to heal? That would be... I can't Lady even Talia, fathom. You should have told us the Lord needed help. Good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. Okay. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. It's because you have no balls! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. See, and like, they were probably the used to taking my brother. We fight that type of approach ourselves, with the new should lord. We fight in them. We need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. What about our allies? Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. Great. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. 
Halsey's hell of a Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Well, not if returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Can course, we do it without the marriage? Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Oh. Thing if is, Elena like... does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting their stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss... Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. Hmm. And now we light them for him and Ethan. Thing is, we may have to look at this wedding as a like a business arrangement. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started <laughs> howling. But thank you. Come on. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but yeah, maybe your sister can find a way to help. Let's hope so. And we can't, like, we can't forget about Asher coming back either, because that's going to catch us off guard. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I feel like we're just walking on eggshells with her. Like, things could fly drastically one way or and the, the other. Seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Now, this guy, he was saying that he could help us before. What is it, Mira? from my mother. 
She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? With your help again. Ah. <laughs> it's my help she's after, isn't it? Yeah. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. It's probably true. He probably can. I'd better get going. I wonder if she leaves Mira, that. We'll talk more later. That stamp behind. Nope, she's got it. Because then we could obviously forge the letter. But that would probably end poorly as well. Uh -oh. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh, this is bad. Oh, man. The the backlash on that could come over tenfold and ruin everything. I see no reason to screw over Marjorie right now. Even she's honestly been pretty good to us. Um, we're gonna finish the letter to to Maynard. Even if we forge the letter, we'd probably get caught. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are here. I really think that Roger can handle that situation. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. <laughs> I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... Spit it out! We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Okay, that's weird. 